Okay, guys, today we're going to be doing, like, we're going to be seeing, we're going to do a comparison on which one's better, my bow and arrow or my bean, or my bean shooter. Okay, we're going to have two balloons ready for them. Let's see how much time it takes to shoot each of them. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, right now we're going to be using the bow and arrow first. We're going to count how many times it takes to for each of them to pop it. Alright. Wow. Okay, so that was one shot. And now, I'm being shooter. Alright. Get it up. Alright. Here we have a bean shooter. Alright. Now this one, it doesn't it doesn't have that much power, but the accuracy is a lot is a lot better. You see, if I were using the bow and arrow, that would easily pop. Because the uh, bow and arrow has more power. It's easier for it, even though it did. Even though the point didn't hit it, it'll still be easier for it to pop. <sighs> yeah. Right now, at this point, the better one right now. Obviously it's going around, but we're gonna shoot until we pop it. Okay, there it is. Alright, so obviously I want to three shots. Four shots actually. All right, now we're gonna compare all of them. All right, we're gonna start off with bow and arrow. Bow and arrow is obviously easier to shoot it quicker. But if you have like a quiver or something, easy pull it out, stick it through a hole, and easy pull it back right away. But the but the bean shooter is harder. And just to reset it, because it always goes in have to blow it. You have to put it all the way in. You have to center it because if you don't, it's going to shoot that way or the other way. So you got to center it and it takes longer. Now, if we're talking about power, power, it's, it's obviously the bow arrow. Accuracy is this one. Now, which one's easier to make? Obviously, the, the bean shooter. Or whatever you want to call it. So the bean shooter, all you would have to do is get this, get this, and cut it about here, and then and then put it on the toilet paper roll. Now, the ups of, now, but what's also this one takes longer because you have to get the rubber band. You're gonna have to take time to cut this, take time to tape this. And if and the dad and the bad thing about this is that if you don't have a a, a skewer that's just if you have a skewer that's just flat, it's harder because the chances of it flipping off are very high. It's happened to me a lot of times. Or I just put it on, I try to shoot it, but it slips. But what I was using was this skewer I don't know if you can see it because my camera sucks but as you can see I cut it so where it could stay on the rubber band so it wouldn't have to slip and don't make it just tight make it a little deep so they can actually stick in there but for the bean shooter it's better to use one that's flat because if that one will rip it so so well, this one, if you want a fast thing to use, it's better for this one. Accuracy, uh, 
a lot less time but that one you have to take time to make the bow and take time to to cut the skewers so in my thoughts i would rather which one's cooler is the bow and arrow which one i like or which one is better is this one and which one i like is the bean shooter all right guys thanks for watching make sure to like and subscribe and that's it. Thank you.